My name is Ivan Garcia, and I'm the top contender in the light heavyweight division for Fight Car Entertainment. My name is Andrew Navikas. I'm a Fight Car light heavyweight contender. Um, I train out of KA Fitness, and I fight with Team 110 um, out of Chicago. I'm with uh, Trish and Combat Training and uh, Team Green Kickboxing, and then I, uh, I train out of Asylum Hardcore Gym. My current record right now is 5 and 1. Uh, my only loss was my first fight MMA. Um, I've had my, my most recent fight, October 30th, it was my first 205 fight. Um, it was a good, tough fight against uh, Carl J. Littles. And um, it, was, uh, it was definitely an eye opener for me because I knew going to the new weight class, it was something different, faster, stronger. You know, I used to the heavy weights, more slower. My cardio has always been good, so I used that to my advantage. But now I'm going against somebody that has the same cardio, if not better, and just as strong, if not stronger than me. And um, my fighting, I, I you know, I, I put it to the limits. I, I take it where I can take it. In MMA, it's uh, actually three and two. The two losses that I had, uh, I suffered a long time ago. It was 2008, right when I started fighting. I just kind of jumped out into the MMA game a little too quick, and I learned my lesson. You know, you got to be well-rounded to be in the sport. And I took the losses, but I'm, I'm a completely different fighter since then. And yeah, I'm, I'm ground and pound. You know, the takedown, I'll stand and bang too. It doesn't matter, wherever it goes, it goes. I take it, you know, I try to keep control of the fight. You know, if I go down, it goes down. You know, everybody everybody has their own, you know, um, take on what they want to do. I don't go in with a game plan. My game plan is to fight, and if we go down, I, I ground and pound. If I can take you down, I'll take you down. It's like if you're a wrestler, you're a wrestler. If you're a, you know, a jiu-jitsu guy, you're a jiu-jitsu guy at my heart, you know. I want to be up banging, you know, but at this point, I'm ready to take it wherever, but I just, it's just, at heart, I'm a banger. Uh, my next opponent, Andrew, I mean, I heard a lot about him. Uh, really haven't seen no video. I don't really care to see any video on him. I heard he is the, heavy, the champion of uh, the kickboxing or whatever the case may be, um, has the belt. But honestly, when it comes to it, on February 24th, we're fighting MMA. And kickboxing is not the only thing we're gonna be able to do. And I hope on February 24th, He's ready to go for a war because he's standing in front of me. I'm trying to make this money, and he's the hurdle I'm going to have to conquer to move on in my career. I want to turn pro, and I know I'm not downing him, and I know him sure he's a good fighter, you know, so I hope he comes 110% because I'm coming 110%, and I'm going to plan to go over him and, you know, make it to start my, my pro debut. And I'm not looking past him, but it's, it's going to be a tough road for him to overcome because I'm coming with a full head of steam. I'm going to have fans there, my friends, family, my fight team, and um, everybody's going to really be supporting me. And, you know, I, my life right now is depending on this, and my career is depending on this fight. So I know I got to do what I have to do to get where I need to be. And Andrew's in the way right now, and, you know, we're there to fight, and we're going to fight. It's going to be a war. I know uh, a little bit about him. I've seen a couple of his fights. On video, uh, I've actually, uh, I think it was March, I was actually at one of his fights and saw him fight live. But uh, the way it sounds, you know, he's a tough guy. He, uh, he's done basically kind of the same thing as me. We both cut down from heavyweight to 205, and uh, I've, you know, he's 7 and 1. He's, I'm looking for a game opponent, you know, I'm not looking for hand fed people. I want to find the toughest people out here, and, you know, it's time now where. You know, I do this full time, you know, I'm trying to, you know, make a career of this. Uh, Andrew's the guy standing between me and my money and my future and my career. And I know if I, if, if to come out with a loss now, it's really going to hurt me because I've been on this win streak. So I know there's no going back and there's no, there's no losing. So the coming on top is, is the way to be. I think it's a real good fight for me because uh, Ivan's uh, got a really good MMA record for pro or for uh, amateurs and uh, I just think it'll be a real good fight and I'm trying to get my name out there and why not, you know, right down in the city in Chicago against the guy whose name's out there already in Chicago, take him on, you know, and uh, me and Ivan get in there and bang it out. You know, he's supposed to be a banger too from what, a, from what I hear, so, you know, it should be a good fight. I'm not worried to stand and bang. If you're a kickboxer, that's great because, you know, what? I love to stand and bang. I started out standing and banging. I just started getting into the wrestling thing. That just, that just became, that's something new now because it's something I have to learn, the whole overall aspect of MMA. When it comes down to it, I'll stand and bang for you for three rounds. But when it comes to that last minute round, you are going to go down and you're not going to finish because I'm not going to go to the decision. I'm not going to leave it to the judge. I'm not going to leave it in nobody's head on who's going to win this fight. I'm going to dominate. We go back and forth, but when it comes to that third round, 
and that last 10 seconds bell rings, if you're still standing, I guarantee before that bell goes down, before that bell rings, he's gonna be down. Night of the show, I walk into the cage door, that door shuts, uh, the hairs start standing up on the back of my neck. It's when you just start, you know, just, it's game, it's go time then, you know? I'm not thinking about nothing, I'm just ready to, to get it on, you know, and staying relaxed and uh, it's time to bang, that's the best time for me. Waiting's the worst and when you're in there, that's go time. When the cage door closes, I can't tell you what's gonna happen. All I don't know is when that cage door opens, I'm gonna be walking on my head up and my hand up. Ivan, uh, be ready for a war, man, because uh, I'm coming with it, you know. I'm coming hard, I'm ready to take it wherever. I mean, much respect to you, but be ready to bang, man. It's gonna be a war, I promise.